everybody, how's it going? So in this video I'm gonna show you how to fully disassemble your Xbox One X. It's a pretty simple process and I'll walk you through the whole thing. You'll need a set of screwdrivers and maybe some pliers. I'll put the links for all my tools down below in the description. So let's go ahead and start by removing these two screws. Then slide the cover forward and lift it up like so. Next we need to remove these 19 screws. Carefully lift the bracket attached to the cable and then disconnect the cable from the RF board. Lift the locking bar up and slide out the ribbon cable from its connector. So the next thing we need to do is take out these two wireless boards. This is basically your Wi-Fi network adapter and this is wireless board for your game controller. Flip the Xbox over and remove the cover and two remaining screws. Now we can remove the metal casing by pulling it upward. Next I'm gonna remove the optical drive. Simply disconnect these cables from the drive or the motherboard. And now you have access to your hard drive or SSD. By the way, I have video about upgrading Xbox consoles to an SSD drive and even to M.2 SATA SSD. It's a very simple process and you don't need any scripts or software. I'll put the links at the end of this video. Ok, now disconnect the power and SATA cables from the motherboard and remove the drive. Next, remove the power supply with its cable simply by lifting it up and out of the case. With that removed, we can now disconnect the fan connector from the motherboard and then remove the fan assembly itself. Next, we need to remove the motherboard. To do that, simply flip the case over and remove the remaining four screws that are holding the heatsink. Then grab the casing and tilt it slightly upward, like so, and then pull it away from the motherboard. Finally, we need to remove this X clamp, which holds the heatsink. Grab your pliers or small flathead screwdriver and then simply twist these legs, like so, and it pops right off. You have to be careful because there's a lot of tiny components under the clamp. Now flip the board over and gently remove the heatsink. I also have video on how to properly clean the cooling system and how to replace the thermal paste and these thermal pads. The link will be displayed at the end of this video. Ok, now let me show you something else. As you can see, this board has some unpopulated pads for an M.2 slot with M key, which means this console may support the NVMe SSD. In theory, we just need to solder a proper size M.2 slot, some tiny components over here and a standoff. The question is, will the firmware support that SSD? I guess we'll find out soon, and if I come up with a working solution, I'll make a video about it in the future. So that's it, and thank you for watching.